All right, what's up, guys? I'm Bryce. I'm Rob. And I'm Zaf. And we are real time today. We got movie night number 104. This week, you guys voted for sci fi and then picked a quiet place. I have not seen this movie. I know a lot of people said this is a, a bit horror, too, maybe more horror than sci fi, but still, I'm looking forward to watching this. I know um, the cast, I saw the cast. The main two, I believe, is Emily Blunt and John Krasinski. Let's go. I know them. I haven't watched too much with them, honestly, but I'm looking forward to watching this. I know this was like a big, big thing when it came out. I just never got around to watching it. I know it's like, I mean, it's called A Quiet Place. I know it's a pretty, I'm sure parts of the movie are going to be very quiet. Uh, I think I know like the premise of it, honestly, but I don't, I don't know. I, I was saying before, I get this one mixed up with Bird Box a lot, which I also haven't watched with uh, Sandra Bullock, right? But... Mm actually so weird that you just said that because sandra bullock and emily blunt were in a movie together on this channel the uh, devil wears prada yeah wait was sandra bullock in that oh no cut that all out it was anna Hathaway. <laughs> <laughs> you're thinking the proposal yeah i am super pumped to see john krasinski i mean i've the office is probably close to being one of my my favorite show ever and he is fantastic in it so I saw that he has a new movie coming out too, like Imaginary Friend. Like I think it's called If. I forget, but it looks really good, and I like him. I like his work. Uh, I'm excited to. See. I can't picture him being in like a serious horror sci-fi, so I think it's gonna be interesting to see. I have seen this movie. I've only seen it one time though, and it was like r right when it came out. Um, I do remember liking it. I haven't seen like the sequel. I know there's a part two, and I know they're coming out with like. A prequel i believe with joseph quinn and lupita so uh i am looking forward to re-watching the original and then hopefully watching those next two um but yeah uh john krasinski emily blunt i love both of them and they're both very very good in this movie and correct me if i'm wrong guys but i'm pretty sure that john krasinski directed this as well and it was like his directorial debut um and I think he wrote it as well. I'm pretty sure he was like the the brain behind this whole movie, essentially. But uh, it definitely, I say, I would say, is more of a horror movie. But there are huge sci-fi elements to it, um, and I definitely am excited to watch it for sci-fi night for movie movie night. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. Though before we get into this movie, if you guys do enjoy our movie reactions, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our links in the description. We got our Patreon, our Discord, our second channel, A Talk, all of our social media is in the address to our PO box. But yeah, let's get into it. Movie night number 104, A Quiet Place. Let's go. Day 89. I love the music. That's one day before 90. Go me John. Oh, dude, I've seen a freaking clip of this. You got that from a traffic light. Yeah, dude, I it just the scene. Oh, I, I know uh, a little bit about this. What was that accent? <laughs> Who did you just become for a second? <laughs> I know a little bit about this. Not loud here. That didn't look like a real run. He has an earring, hate it. A what? Earring aid. Is an earring aid? Yeah, yeah, that's what he said. Emily! Love ya. Is everyone like purposely being quiet? Mm -hmm. It's in the name of the movie. They're, they're, everyone's on their tiptoes. I guess there's going to be a lot of sign language because they can't talk. You get away on a rocket. Like, what is going on? I think I have a pretty good idea before watching the movie, what's happening. I think I do know what's happening. I do. I know what's happening. I've seen the movie before, guys. I don't know what they're talking about. What? I just know from the one clip I saw. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. No, no. Don't throw the Lego. Oh, good catch, good catch. Did I see Jonathan walk in? Looks like a girl version of... uh. Dustin from Stranger Things. Knew you were going to say that. Well, you asked the thought of them. <laughs> yeah. Damn, I love this guy. Look at him. 
I can't see not see Jim Halpert. No, you're gonna say that too. <laughs> really? Yeah, because you you said it for the holiday. Yeah, that was an awesome movie. I mean, he literally looked exactly like Jim Halpert yeah, in his haircut. <laughs> I mean, his haircut's the same in this one too. Mm. I mean, towards the end of the office. You know they're married in real life stuff? Emily Blunt and him? Mm Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Really? Yeah. You didn't know that? Hell no. Oh, I thought you did. Yeah, they're married in real life, have been for a very long time. I thought he was married with Pam. Oh, no. Take those batteries out. (laughs) I mean, I would hate... To freaking be quiet on purpose. I don't know if I would be able to do it. Well, I think something's after them. Yeah, for sure. So if it's life or death, I'm sure you would. If not, you would sell everyone's life. I just don't think the people, (laughs) ideal people to be with, to not make noise as little kids. Yeah. (laughs) Oh. Little man, what what are we doing? Wants the batteries. Bro, I I I love Emily Blunt. Oh, I had to get it out of my system. I've just been thinking about it ever since I saw her. Where are they walking on like a path? I think it's sand, probably to lessen their footsteps. You're a smart guy. Thanks. Ask me a math question. I don't know any math questions to ask. Twenty times. 89. Wow. Damn. Uh, I'm on the spot there. That's too much. That's not that hard, I don't think. Seven, no. 1780? I don't know. Is that right? Think about what 90 times 20 would be. I think 18. it is 1780. <laughs> Did I get it? I don't, I didn't know the answer. It would just be 890 times 2, essentially, right? That's what, kind of what I did. Yeah. When there's no dialogue. We do math. <laughs> we, <laughs> we make up math questions. Gotta keep the brain healthy and active. Keep it thinking. Keep it thinking. I wanna see how we got to this point. I have a big old sand trail. I think they were at the store, like, shopping. I mean, it's day 89, so I'm sure they are set up shop. It's too quiet now. Uh Uh-oh, dude's gonna... Nope. Dude... Uh oh. Oh, dude, he's toast, probably. What's gonna get him? Oh. Oh my <laughs> shit. What was that? Looked like some sort of spider? Yeah, definitely an alien. I knew something was after them, but I didn't know what it was. Holy shit, that's a cool jump. That's over a year later. Pretty much a year. I mean, you just wanted to play with a toy, but Papa told you no. Little boy got clipped, bro. They must, like, have super sound hearing, super hearing or something. Can they not kill, like, these things? They must be really strong, huh? It's blind, it attacks on sound, has armor. Collecting as much information as possible. Yeah, so these things have like super hearing. I'm guessing they're like mutants or some sort of aliens. What is the weakness? You know, if you like threw a rock somewhere and you wanted to observe it maybe? Like, make the rock make noise and they come towards it. Mm hmm. A little Morse code action. What movie did we watch that had Morse code? Fuck. In one scene. Oh, um. Oh, Parasite. Yeah. This is like kind of a relevant thing, like movie, but 
as far as like the distracting with sound, that was a thing in Dune, I believe, right? With the sandworms. Uh huh. Yeah, I feel like I that so. was more of a vibration on the sand. Though. Yeah. But I guess we don't really know how these things sense it. Maybe they do sense vibration because they were walking on sand, which would probably ease the vibration of the yeah. footsteps. How do you like cook? Gotta let them. She pregnant? Uh oh. Is she? Looked. I mean, it kind of looked like they purposely showed her. Yeah. Her tummy. And if that's the case, Mr. John. We're good, because babies are not quiet. You're responsible. They will cry, right? Right. Loud. Yeah. Not really something you can control. Also, giving birth cannot really be done too silently, I feel like. Uh-uh. Probably need to let some screams out. Why don't they just go to a different area? Seems like they have, right? I don't know, actually. Because he's saying SOS. I think it's going to, like, be a black screen, say, like, day one at some point. Or maybe day zero. And again, that new movie's a prequel, right? Coming yeah, out? Yeah. So maybe that will be the one that gives more context? I don't know. But I feel like they definitely should give a little bit more background on it. I'm just thinking of like the kids like showing up to like shoot or whatever and they're like, Oh, I can't wait to get the get the scripts, let's get these lines. <laughs> just blank. <laughs> the screenplay is just like look to the left. Blink your eyes. I'm just imagining if it was real and like you're doing this and then What's that? You're young I don't know. You're young when it happens and then finally like somehow you get rid of them and it's like Oh, what's up? Like you just hit puberty or something yeah, in the middle of it? You see these lights that keep coming? Uh-huh. Yeah. I think I think he's part of it. I think he's doing his own version here with uh he just lit a fire. Maybe it's like impossible to get to them. Cause that thing was in the woods, huh? What's that? Crabs? Dude, you gotta think that every animal is probably dead. If that's what it eats. Like deer and stuff like that. Yeah. Just running around not knowing what's going on. Fucking birds are just chilling. Like, what the fuck's going on down there? I feel like they could probably get birds. I don't know if they can fly. Birds gotta come down for food. Yeah, true. Birds aren't quiet. What if they just went like done? I don't know. Probably just not worth it to risk. They're basically probably living in fear your whole life, right? For sure. Holy shit. <laughs> I mean, that's not quiet. When it makes noise, it's just like a jump scare in itself. Because it's so quiet. I mean, those things are probably just chilling, walking around, then they go, what was that? Let's run! <laughs> Let's run! Broncos Nation. Let's ride. There's the birds. Something's coming. Wow, these things are... They're precise. I feel like how close they are now, like you can't even take steps. Like they'll hear everything. Like maybe even breaths. Jeez. I think those are just raccoons. Yeah, yeah. What? Maybe they don't go for anything but humans. Poor boy. Just an accident. Those were raccoons that made those big thuds? Jeez. What just happened? It just exploded. That poor thing little got thing. squished. Ugh. I feel those things bad. should know by now. What, the raccoons? Yeah. Do you think animals would adapt to the situation? Eventually, probably, they if they survived long enough. Yeah, if they didn't get cleared out. 
evolution. My man's is an engineer. Yeah, I feel like in these like apocalyptic type movies and shows, everyone always just knows like how to do that type of shit. Like I would just be so useless. I feel uh, it's because those are the only kind of people that would survive. That's true. Is people that can fend for themselves. Do they have any kids? I think so. Outside of the movie. <laughs> I yeah, I know what you meant. I think they do. They start blasting music. <laughs> it's murder on the dance floor. It would be murder on the yeah, dance floor. Yeah. <laughs> closer, I feel like they could probably hear that. They're underground. Okay, here's another question. So we were talking about like evolution. Do you think if this was like the norm and you just couldn't speak, they're to be a time where a baby would come out and not cry or make noise i don't know i, th I think just everything no. evolves over time you know what i mean so like its natural instincts eventually would be not to cry maybe after like thousands and thousands that's what i'm saying of years. evolution oh same day yeah we're not that wasn't too much of a jump right i feel like it was like 471 they had to re-up on the sand where do you get the sand, you think? You have to re-up on the sand. Like, if you went and got the sand with a shovel, definitely making some noise. Water breaks, her water hits the floor, gonna make some noise. There's water on the dance floor. <laughs> gotta think of all these scenarios. Like, definitely, John is thinking, like, we gotta get something under you for when your water breaks. <laughs> That's not always how it happens. You don't have to be standing up and shoot water down. They could be laying on a <laughs> the bed or something. Water hitting the floor is the least of their problems. <laughs> what are we going to do about this water? <laughs> the crying baby that comes out. Who's going to give the baby? I mean. Probably John. <laughs> give, give is not. It's deliver. But they'll figure it out. I'd be so sketched to have my kids go out by themselves. Yeah. Especially after what happened to the little one. Little man got messed up, dude. Yeah, he's definitely dead. He's just not here. He got, like, cut in half. This is, like, unnecessary, I feel like. You could put more sand down. How do you kill these things? They have armor. Jesus. Quit making me jump. Listen to Pops. Let him try. Lee. What'd Lee do? Is that Tom Holland? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Dude. What? Doesn't it look like him? Bro. Look. It's like when you were watching that uh, fish movie and you're like, is that Miley Cyrus? It was. Yeah, but I thought that I could be right. Does it not look like him? No. Come on. Definitely does. Oh no, I don't like that. I'm talking about the future. What if he just started freaking laughing so loud at the <laughs> joke? <laughs> You're so funny, Mom. Smushed. Well, if you say, hey, you think they'll get you? Hey, I'm laughing over here. Or just one simple little hi. Like, just, <laughs> you think they're going to get you? Probably. I feel like they might not see each other again, anyone. <laughs> I 
gotta get it out somehow. So she has a hearing issue? She's deaf. Just deaf and... Maybe all of them knew how to do ASL because of... Probably, honestly. Like before... Doesn't work. Oh, that's terrifying, bro. Being deaf might be actually not good for this situation. You don't know if you make noise or not. Yeah. I'm sure you like a lot of times you know if you make noise, but maybe you accidentally will and have no clue. But at the end of the day, if you make too much noise, I don't think you can even avoid it. Like death fishy oh fishy 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 fish <laughs> kids tweaking the river masks the noise that's smart i mean you would think you would know that i feel like if you're grown into your brain at some point like you're older mm -mm. i'm confused as to what you even said so is he <laughs> like she's gonna fall for some reason oh the nail Gonna rip open. That was kind of loud. Oh, fuck. Someone's stepping on that bit. Oh, no. That nail is so dangerous. That nail is a bad nail. I love you, John. I'm such a Pam boy for you. Hey. I want to hear you. I can't hear you. Just crazy he had to figure this out. <laughs> Whoa, son, too loud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Whoa, I didn't say that loud. Shit, it's coming. I think it, it was it was not loud because we were supposed to be the yeah. aliens in that part. Mm. Well, mm. yeah, we weren't. We were just on the other side of the waterfall. Is what seeing we how were. the sound gets muffled. Yeah, we were the we were actually the aliens there for a second. <laughs> the aliens were twelve feet away from them. Why didn't you let her come? Like, if this was my life, I'd be like, listen, Dad. Can we go to the river today and just talk? Yeah, I would definitely go there a lot. We're about to see where a little son got whacked. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> little son. Got whacked. That's crazy. <laughs> little son. <laughs> Rip little son. Yep. There it is. He was whacked here on this day. On day 79, or 89. That boy wanted to play with the freaking airplane. I don't blame him. You like John with a beard or without? I think he rocks him both ways, but I'm going to go with a beard. You still love her, right? Maybe not this thick of a beard, though. <laughs> yeah. Just, I do like him with some facial hair. Did she figure out how to make a go without making noise? That's just a crazy year to look at. 2016 to 2020. That's just horrible. So it's 2020 right now? He died in 2020. Oh, so it's like... 2021? No, it was... That was like... We got a big time jump. Yeah, it was a yeah, year. Yeah, I guess. 2021. This is... This is... Just, when it came out, so this is the future. Yeah, it came out in 2016. 
They predicted COVID? I want to see more people. What did I just ask for? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I didn't watch the show, I know you guys did, but he reminds me of like a much older version of, what's his name, Frank Gallagher? Oh, sure. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Chris. William H. Macy. That's another thing I was thinking too, is like, if you wanted to unalive yourself, it's so easy. Those things got some arms on they them. Look, they look like the rake. These are mean, mean creatures, man. Where did they come from? Oh, oh it's <laughs> hitting the floor. Squat down before it all comes out. Oh, shit, that was way too loud. <laughs> what did I tell you? You gotta worry about these things. Oh, fuck, she's stepping on that damn nail. Are going to scream? I'm kind of glad if it is going to be her that it's her because the kids would definitely scream. Maybe she'll be able to withhold it. I don't want to see someone you step on You want the pregnant it. woman to step on the nail and be put in danger? One of the adults. Yeah. Definitely John. But I think like that little boy, he's like, ah, <laughs> like he's screaming his ass off. What a jerk face that old fellow was. No, his wife just died, right? Yeah. So he had no reason to live. I mean, could have waited for them to get a yeah. few more steps down the path, but. Oh! Yeah, I mean, that's warranted. How could you not let out a. <laughs> like, you would just have to. Like, she did pretty good. It's still in there. At least it didn't come through. Bro, it looked <sighs> about long enough that it could probably go through a foot. Come through, Ooh, come oh, through, oh, oh. girl, you know we got things to do. That's gotta hurt. I mean, that, it's not like a, a horrible injury. Mm, fucking hurts, though. Yeah, but like there's worse injuries. I mean, sure. You could get your head cut off, but that that's not happen. an injury. That's a death. Whoa! Whoa. These things move quick, huh? They aren't slow. It almost as if they like, like leap like the Hulk. Gotta just distract the, the th thing, make some noise somewhere else. You do this little, what do they, they call these things? Huh. They're not alarm clocks, they're like... Timers. Yeah, like for cooking. Kitchen timer. Mm, oh, careful. is that like a sign? Make red, it red. To the lights that. are red. <laughs> She's like she is in labor right now. Technically, like her water is broke. I thought it was New York they were in. Hmm. The monster steps on the nail. Ah! <laughs> Makes noise. The other Sounds monsters like a, come kill it. A locust. Are you more scared of this thing or Michael Myers? <laughs> Probably this thing. Ooh. It's going to just attack that thing. I think it's hurting it. She steps go, on it again. Go, girl, go. I'm pretty sure that thing hurt, it got hurt by that. Well, it just made more noise, and there's more than one. There's number two. Got 
gotta help mom. Ooh. Is that her? She's a. I think she's starting to give birth. Or actually, I don't know. Right? I don't think it looked like it was coming from her foot. Yeah. That is like crab. Vecna? <laughs> this thing's gonna pull up in here, isn't it? What if the thing freaking pulls the baby out for? What are you gonna name it? <laughs> Deliver the baby. Congratulations. Name it after me. Down man. Oh, it's gonna be one of them ones, huh? When they're right next to yeah. you. Yeah. It's like, whoa, what is that? He just lit a <laughs> firecracker off. I have something else to be a, to <laughs> give my attention to now. And that shotgun. She's giving a baby up. Oh. They're gonna go crazy at those fireworks, dude. She had to let us scream out, huh? Oh, yeah. Waited for the right moment, for sure. I don't think she even knew they were coming, though. Yeah, you'd be nervous if you saw that. Yep. It's just literally baby coming out. You're not too late, bro. Oh my gosh, she delivered it herself. She's a superwoman. <laughs> the baby is more quiet than McDiet. Than what? I don't know, I was trying to rhyme. McDiet? <laughs> Known for his quietness. <laughs> it's a new McDonald's item. I'm on the new McDiet. Counterproductive. <laughs> I was just trying to rhyme. They have some healthy. Not no healthy options, they just have some healthy. They have some healthy. You said that. You. Come on, Jeremy. You just give him a name? Yeah, they didn't want to give him one, so I did. You thought about the guy? Yeah. No, that's not good. We can't be running through that, right? N hell no. That was like a tractor wheel or something. <laughs> the tractor said, shut up, Jeremy. Be quiet. You got this, baby. Come on. <laughs> he's like, he's like, baby, shut up. He signs, and she goes, oh shit, sorry. <laughs> I didn't realize the severity of the situation. Oh. Close it. Close it. It's just the other kids are outside. Mm. Oh. That'll help a little bit, I guess. Looks like they actually got a newborn baby to do this. Kind of have to do that. Yeah. As fucked up as it is, it's kind of necessary. Is that, is that why they have the oxygen mask? Yeah. yeah. So, so he can breathe in there. Oh, and she can't hear. Mm-mm. And he can't see. That looks like the rake. It's like venom teeth, right? Looks like a fucking Demogorgon. Is that thing fucking with... Oh. Think... It's fucking with it. That could be a weakness. Okay. That worked. I didn't need to see that again. Little son. Crazy thing to dream about. Little son. <laughs> Little son got whacked. 
That's <laughs> <laughs> such a crazy way of saying that kid got killed. Holy it's like shit. the the captor. <laughs> oh god. All oh. our kids are dead, honey. Don't worry. All our kids are dead. <laughs> but me to the head. All our kids are dead. Well, it's, I think it's all my friends. Well. I can still feel the weight in my arms. Small, but so heavy. Because she lost a lot of blood. But my hands were moving. It's carrying the back of my hands. You're talking about Lil Sun right now. You could have carried him. Mm, okay. Promise me that you will protect them. That freaking kid is knocked out by a tire wheel. <laughs> well. Tire wheel. Oh, jeez. That's going do the same thing. You tried to say wheel? Yeah. Well. <laughs> tire wheel. The tire wheel. Oh, he, he's not even. He acted like one of the monsters. She's kind of like a. What's the word? Like a repellent, I think, for the, the thumpers. Yeah. What are they called? <laughs> What'd you call them? Thumper. Thumpers. Thumpers. It's yeah. a cod gun. Those are the really just brought me into a nostalgic mindset thinking about that. You still in that nostalgic mindset? What? Are you still in the, the nostalgic mindset? Yeah, a little bit. What else are you thinking of? Just the thumpers. Maybe the Dilakimba models or rangers. So it just got you thinking about Call of Duty. A Kimba just, Rangers. That's just what you're thinking of. Akimbo Rangers and Akimbo models. What is going on here? Leak. Oh. I think that when that timer thing and like. Dove at the pipes. These kids are smart. Very. Betty. And smart parents. Every time someone does that, I think it's going to come back up and <laughs> into the thing and blow up. Where are my kids? He's no not faith. Really very positive. Uh oh. What if it's going on to the baby? They already have it full boxed. Oh no, where's the baby? <laughs> it's like the scene out of the Prince of Egypt. Just send it down the river. Mm. What? what is that? Oh my god, it looks like human. How is that thing down here? Maybe you heard the. I don't know. Oh. Is that the baby? Oh, that's creepy. It's. Underwater? Mm -hmm. Oh, I would not feel comfortable. No jump scare, please. Do not walk. She gotta get her baby, bro. Oh, fuck. She gotta get her baby. She picks that thing up. It's crying. I think I just go over and put my hand over the mouth and just sit, stand there. I don't think that works. It's... Oh! Oh my gosh. Come on, baby. You gotta stay silent. Like the waterfall. It's muffled under here a little bit. Bad sign. If you're him. Don't peek your head through that thing. Don't do it. Oh, 
Oh! Holy oh. shit! Were they on top of like a silo? Because that is a far... Like that, if they're on top of that silo, that's a far drop. Like a death drop. Oh, into corn though or something. That's fine. He's like sinking into it. Probably loud. Remember, the more you move, the more you sink. You gotta lay back. Oh! Oh! Almost chopped Big Son in half. Get on top of that like Jack. Or Rose. No corn sinking. Just eat it all. No, it's good. We're gonna repel her. She's the repeller. Oh! Can't repel under there. Never did I think this would be coming to the corn, the corn sink sand. Thank gosh. I mean, that corn has to be making so much noise. How do you get out of this place? You wait for pops. You're gonna burst open like the freaking thing in a uh, barbarian. <laughs> Propellant. Yes. I want them to just explode from the sound. Now it's like encapsulated in a silo. I bet that hurts even more. If you lay on your back like that in quicksand or in anything, mm -hmm. you get out freer. Okay. Was with you for a while. It's just a safer thing. As opposed to getting out less free. You get more freed up. Well, they gave an exit. The thing gave them an exit. I am so shocked everyone is still cooking and alive. Got a little sun. Got whacked. Early. I'm starting to think we're not going to get a flashback. There's a quiet place too. There is a part two, yeah. And you haven't seen it? No. I think that is the, the scenes I seen stuff from. I do know one thing, though, about it. John's uh, in it? Killian Murphy is in it. Oh, see, so he was on the cast for this. I was like... Well, hold up, then. <laughs> hold up, then. Mommy gave birth. You guys have a new brother. Just picturing him saying that, but still burping in between, in between <laughs> saying those things. <laughs> Mommy, give birth. You have a brother. <laughs> She's watching her family rekindle. Might watch them get eaten. I don't know if this thing... I think he, they just like slice Kale? him. That thing gets its freaking sword hands on you. You're fucked. What's happening? Pitchfork. Is that what you guys or are grabbing, axe. or the? Oh, he's grabbing the axe. I go for the axe. I think axe. I don't think pitchfork. I think the things would bend if you try to go through the armor. You're gonna watch Dad be a bad ass. On the roof. Oh. Shit. I don't think he's dead. She needs to put two and two together and get close to that thing before it kills Pops. Oh! Turn it back on! It wants to get in there. Is it paying for gas money? 
Jeez. I don't like this music, bro. The thing looks crazy. Oh no, he's gonna yell. Just yell, bro. No, dude, if John dies... Turn it on, turn it on! Oh, if he dies, I'm going to be very sad. That's what the son said to tell her. He got whacked. Oh, uh, that makes me sad. Uh oh, oh, we aren't out of the woods yet, babies. You protected him like you wanted. Watch the nail. Yeah, let them know. Did you tell them? Yeah, you pointed at it. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's a cringy thing to see. Makes me cringe. Oh yeah, because the, the kids weren't allowed down here. I was like, why does she look like that? Yeah. She hasn't seen this stuff before. Dark angels. Also, haven't seen their new sibling yet. Look at all the work he was putting in. He was trying in. so hard. Emily Blunt with a shotgun. It really doesn't get too much more badass than that. You know what? That kid does look like Tom Holland. It does. I know it's not him, but he looks like it could be like one of his little brothers or something. Coming down again? Oh. This thing is just inviting itself in. Hey guys, we back down here? They weren't <laughs> even making noise. We should play Monopoly again tonight? Mm -hmm. I just cannot see a shotgun doing anything to this thing. Uh-uh. Unless you hit it right in that ear. Yeah, because that's its whole power is hearing. It reminds me of that Sprite commercial with uh, Drake. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Does she have to listen to it? Blow up, please. Oh, my gosh. Did we do it? I mean, this girl reminds me of so many Oh, people. I do it again. Do it again.
Are these things in uh Death Dead by Daylight? Ooh. But that was a loud sound. Oh, I feel like we're gonna see a bunch on these screens. They thought there was three, I feel like we're gonna see like 20 coming. There's apparently all of them. It's a... It's gonna end, isn't it? Uh-oh. That would fuck their ears too though, right? I think it's like one of those dog whistle things, like it's such a high frequency that you can't really hear it. Well, that was a quiet place. I really enjoyed that. I am still so bummed that John Krasinski got whacked there at the end. Um, wow, was that sad. Noble uh, death, though. Noble death. He just started screaming. Um, props to him, though, if he wrote this. He wrote the novel, wrote the book, wrote everything. Not a novel or a book. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, if he did all this himself, directed it, he is a class S tier. Um, just everything about him. He is a very cool man. He did a very good job with this movie. I enjoyed it. I definitely want to watch um, the next one for the channel for sure. This was really good. Um, I just love the concept of this. How everything is quiet. You have to be quiet. These things are really cool. Um, I wonder where they come from. I'm guessing they're like aliens of some sort because they were saying guardian angels. So they definitely came from the sky. I thoroughly enjoyed that. Um, the end, obviously, it seems like they're getting ready to cook up all these things with the shotgun and the loud sounds. And little fella over there is holding the even littler fella trying to keep him safe back in the corner. Um, I think they're going to be able to handle them with that sound. They can't get near. Yeah, I like this movie as well. I, I definitely like... Everyone was saying it's like pretty much a straight horror film. I don't think it's like... I didn't think it was like literally just a horror film. I definitely saw the science fiction elements mm -hmm. to this. Um, but yeah, I thought this was good. I, I think it's really cool when it's like... Just like so little dialogue. We watched an episode recently of Only Murders in the Building and it was literally mm -hmm. no dialogue. I think it's really cool when movies can do that and do it well. It's pretty rare, but... It, it was really good. I'm glad we like know now the weakness. It's literally what he was working on the whole time for his daughter's hearing aid, that frequency sound, like, cause it makes sense, honestly. They're so hypersensitive to their hearing. They rely on it so much. If you just blast them with it, mm -hmm. there's a big wave. It's like, what do they do? It's, um, and then obviously she, the pump to the head also helped. But uh, yeah, I feel like definitely this is one of those movies where like it ends and you're like, okay, well that's, incomplete Not like over yet. some movies you're like is this gonna get a a part two or a sequel and it's like you kind of have to give this one that and they, they did obviously so i would like to watch it honestly like pretty soon within the next like couple weeks or months because uh i do want to know how this wraps up because the sec the new one is a prequel as far it's, as it's literally called a quiet place day one day one yeah, yeah. so it's, yeah so it's gonna be before this so i think that means this next part two is gonna be like hopefully how they figure everything out but i mean john krasinski's character lee was uh definitely a great protector i would say for his uh his kids and everything as best as he could be so going into the next part with i mean emily blunt in her own regard was a badass but with three kids, one a newborn, that is just seems like an impossible task. So I'm looking forward to seeing how she can handle it. And also I do really hope uh, the next part you get to meet more people because there certainly is more people alive, I would assume, but we only got to see two other people this movie. So yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to hopefully a uh, bigger world reveal in this next one. Yeah, I really like this movie a lot. I'm glad we got to watch it again. Uh, I feel like I like forgot a lot of just like what was gonna happen. Uh, it, it, it honestly felt very fresh for me. But um, one of the things I did want to talk about was like I, I do remember like when this movie came out and I saw it. It was one of those things where like I watched so many videos about like theories and stuff 
because there's so many like uh scenes and shots of just uh the newspapers and all the articles on the wall and you can only imagine like how hard people break that shit down yeah. and theorize i saw one that was like meteorite hits mexico yeah like i i, I remember people thinking that like they came from the ground because like they're covered in armor and shit and like vibrations i don't know i remember people thinking that but yeah like you both said watching this definitely makes me want to watch the next two for sure and um like i said earlier in the video i do know that killian murphy is in the in part two so uh it makes sense for him, like since john krasinski's character is not around they need a new male lead i'd imagine I'm, I, I feel like he'd probably be the male lead if he's in it in the new one in the part two like the sequel and i think i think they did uh very like minimally they they showed that there are other survivors in that one scene where john krasinski gets on the uh on the it. silo and he lights the fire like that light was other people lighting fires like say i'm pretty sure that it was like a we're gonna light it at this time every day so that we know we're still alive type of thing and yeah just uh the concept of like the new ones coming out the the idea of being able to see like how this all happened like literally day one of like these creatures appearing or whatever i cannot like that just excites me because i can't even imagine what people's initial reaction was like there's no like it, it definitely took them a while to to figure out like we just need to shut up it's gonna be sick i feel like we're just gonna see waves of people running just getting Trot whacked just getting the whacked trucked, but they're gonna get whacked yeah. a bunch of little sons all right, guys, that is it, though, for A Quiet Place. If you guys enjoyed our reaction, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our links in the description. We got our Patreon, our Discord, our second channel, A Talk. All of our social media is in the address to our PO box. But yeah, we'll catch you guys next time, next week, for movie night number 105. Peace out.